It's not often the governor and Republican lawmakers agree, but tonight both are concerned about changes that Democrats are making on the Appropriations Committee, which decides how money gets spent. As CBS 13's Brad Rogers shows us, lawmakers on both sides of the aisle hope to undo some of the changes. Struggling Maine dairy farmers say majority Democrats on the Appropriations Committee stabbed them in the back when they voted to take dairy subsidies critical to their farm survival out of the budget. It's very alarming the, the number of farms we've lost in the last 10 years. Organic dairy farmer Annie Watson was shocked to learn Democrats on the Appropriations Committee cut four and a half million dollars of funding from the dairy stabilization program. It felt a little bit like they were pulling the rug out from under us. Watson says farmers need that subsidy to offset the high cost of milk production and the low prices they're paid for their milk to keep milk prices low. We're spending much more money on trucking, fuel, energy costs. Basically, the, every, the cost of everything has risen over the past several years. The farmers are in desperate need. We've lost two-thirds of our farmers in the last few years. Appropriations did vote to keep 10 percent of that subsidy. Which is unsustainable and really not even worthy of consideration. Republican Sowen Millett says dairy farms need the full funding lawmakers promised. It's the only way you can give the farmers some hope. It would give us an increase to our, our base price and allow a little bit of flexibility for farmers to get, you know, through these times of rising costs. A spokesperson says Governor Mills is concerned about the cuts and says the governor urges lawmakers to reconsider these, quote, ill-advised changes. So we're hopeful that, you know, that members of the committee especially will recognize that our farms are important and we are uh, worth the investment. House and Senate Democrats also have concerns about the spending plan voted on in appropriations, including inadequate support for dairy farmers, veterans homes and teachers. And they say changes will be made. In Whitefield, Brad Rogers, CBS 13 News.